was friends with Johnny. We had a working relationship, and that's probably where it ended. He talked about baseball. I was a big baseball freak, and I enjoyed baseball and the Yankees. But it kind of ended there. You know, you do a show, you go to your room. But before we went to the room, we always had to stop at a 7-Eleven so John could get milk and cookies. He'd get that little pack of cookies, I don't know, Fig Newtons or Oreos, and the milk. I mean, you got to understand, the kids are following us. And you find the nearest 7-Eleven, jump in there, get his milk and cookies. Uh, every night, that was it. That was his thing after the show. And that became, like, nuts. And then that was it. You wouldn't see him. But you'd always see D, Dee Dee, and you'd always see uh, Joey. We'd hang out. You know, Joey and I would, you know, we'd, you know, take all the beers from the show, and we'd go to our room and drink all night, and then get on the bus. And Dee Dee, too. And we'd all talk. But you never saw John at any part of that in all that time. He just, in fact, he would, like, take a different floor in the hotel. I don't know what he did, but... Uh, Johnny was just strictly a working relationship, and that was basically it. I mean, when I got in the band, the first song I wrote had some kind of minor seventh chord, and John freaked out, like, what is that? How do you play that chord? You know, it was like a big fight at the time. You know, I just said, it's a minor. It creates suspense. Try it, you know? <laughs> and finally, we got to it. Minor chord, you know, come on. Let's go from three. Let's learn a fourth chord, John. <laughs> Didi would always write about his life. That's what made him creative. When he was in the program and going to the, I mean, this guy would go to the program three or four times a day. I mean, dedicate his life. But then every song he wrote was about the program. Went to the program at 9 a.m., ba ba ba, you know. And it got, you know, yeah, that video we did was all about his wife wanting a Mercedes Benz, and he's telling her, you know, a different story. So he really wrote about life. I mean, this is the only guy I know who, when he took a shower, had a special pipe or the tube that went into the shower and he could put it, you know, smoke, put it, fill his bowl and smoke while he was in the shower. He had this, like, whack device set up. I mean, I don't know anybody like that, you know? He was special. When I was in the van, we did normal things. We'd go to the hotel and go for a swim with Joey. I'd say, Joey, let's go for a swim. I never forget the first time we went swimming. You know, he had all that hair, but when it got wet, his head was only... He had a really tiny head, you know, and he had those uh, with his glasses. Oh, it was so funny, but, you know, he was a really, you know, normal guy. Yeah. You know, there was nothing. He did normal things. I took him to Brooklyn to go bowling. I think he ever went to Brooklyn and went bowling? You know, come on, people looking, you know. It's, but he, he got to experience a lot of different things with me that he never really did. He used to stay in that house all day and then just go to a club, you know. But he didn't have to with me, you know. We, I got him out in the world in different ways that he never really did before, you know. <laughs>